This is in for Live TV headline news, December 16th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. A two-year-old girl suffered shrapnel wounds in the head when her kibbutz Akim home suffered a direct hit from a Qassam rocket fired from Gaza. The girl was taken to hospital with her mother who suffered from shock. A number of homes in the kibbutz sustained damage. Early in the day, four mortar shells were fired at Israel. Israel has dispatched a delegation of intelligence officials to the U.S. to try to convince it that Iran is still trying to develop nuclear weapons, contrary to the findings of a recent U.S. intelligence report. Prime Minister Hood Olmert on Sunday called on ministers to refrain from commenting on the recent report or Iran. I'm asking the ministers to stop giving statements on Iran and the American intelligence report, he said. Israel permitted 900 Gaza pilgrims to travel through Israel to attend the Muslim pilgrimage in Saudi Arabia. Palestinian and Israeli officials said Sunday. The pilgrims traveling were to drive in a convoy through Israel to Jericho and from there into Jordan in order to board a flight to Saudi Arabia. The pilgrimage to the city of Mecca, known as the Hajj, is obligatory for every Muslim. Merit's chairman, Knesset member Yossi Balin, on Sunday announced that he was withdrawing his candidacy from the party's leadership elections and throwing his support to Knesset member Chaim Aron. Party sources said over the weekend that the chairman, who is lagging behind in the polls, decided to pull his candidacy after Aron announced he would run. Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman Mohammad Ali Hosseini denied recent reports on Sunday that claim Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah had been demoted from his position as head of Hezbollah to be replaced by his deputy Sheikh Naim Qasim. Hosseini declared that the reports are nothing but rumors. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, an exclusive interview with Hamas on whether there is a deal in the making to release Gilad Shalit. Sheffy, a software program that adapts to your mobile phone. That's all from InfoLive TV, wishing you a good evening from Jerusalem. Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.